G'day, and welcome to Todd's Kitchen. Since the episode I did on how to make chicken stuffing, I've had a lot of questions on how to roast the chicken. Now, the way I roasted the chicken on that episode was basically just an experimental one. Uh, it's an idea I got from a friend, and I thought I'd give it a go. So today, I'm going to show you how to roast a chicken. Okay, now to start off with, I've given this chicken a good wash. I've washed all the outside and I've washed all the inside. So once you've done that, just give it a good pat down like so, just to give it a, just to dry it all up. Okay, now this step, next step is completely optional, but I've just made a slight cut just on the front skin here where the legs are, just so I can lift this skin bit up here. Now I've got some rosemary that I picked from the garden, just stick it just under the skin there. This will give it a bit of extra flavour. And just do the same for the other side. Now you won't be eating this rosemary, it's a... Rosemary has a very strong taste, but what this will do is it'll seep through into the meat as it's cooking and just give it, a, give it that little extra bit of lovely taste which will be just fantastic. Okay, next give it a good seasoning with salt. Now, don't be afraid to put too much salt on, on this because most of it will come off. Then let's put some cracked pepper on there. Okay, that'll give the skin a nice season and it'll really bring out the taste when you start having it later on. Now you can choose to stuff this chicken if you like, that's completely up to you. I'm not going to do this one, but I'll leave a link, link down below uh, to a previous video where, I, where I've um, done a stuffing for a chicken. Just ignore the part where I put it in oil, the way I cook it, because I was trying something new that day, and th this is the best way, trust me. So ignore the way I roasted it, but if you want to learn how to do stuffing, then just watch that video. Now you don't have to buy a Pacific tray just for roasting. Um, just, just get an oven proof tray and just a wire rack that goes in, inside like that. As long as the uh, chicken isn't touching the water that we're about to put in there, or it's not touching the bottom. Okay, so next we're just going to put some water in the bottom of this. Just like that. Now, that's all you need. You don't need a lot of water. Because the chicken's already full of water as it is. That's just how they come. The water will just give it a little bit of extra moisture, so it'll still come out nice and juicy once it's cooked. Also, one thing I should have mentioned is, before you start this, preheat your oven to 240 degrees. Now we're going to place this into an oven, the preheated oven at 240 degrees, but as soon as it goes in, we're going to lower the temperature to 200 degrees. Now the general rule of thumb is, you're going to cook the chicken 20 minutes for every 500 grams of weight. Now just before it goes in, just give it a quick sprinkle of olive oil, not too much, just enough. Just rub that in, just like so. Okay, this will help bring out the flavours of the chicken, it'll infuse with the salt, the pepper, the rosemary, and also give you a crispier skin too. Okay, so I'm going to place this into an oven. Uh, the oven, as I said, the oven is preheated at 240 degrees. As soon as it goes in, I'm going to lower that to 200. And I'm going to cook it for 20 minutes for every 500 grams. Okay, so I've just pulled this out of the oven and it's looking fantastic. Now, skin's all nice and crispy. Now, the bit, one way to check it is to stick a fork just in the side and if the juices come out clear that means it's ready if they don't come out clear that means it's a little bit longer in the oven now the only thing left to do it now is let the chicken sit for about 10 to 20 minutes just let the juices stabilize and then it's ready to eat thank you for watching this episode of Todd's Kitchen be sure to show me your love by giving me a thumbs up leave a comment and I'll see you again this Sunday for another delicious recipe